Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the 10 Minute Educator. My name is Joe Mitchell, Coach Joe, and I am a success and mindset coach who helps people succeed with joy, succeed with their big, juicy goals. So I made this 10 minute educator, which I've been doing pretty consistently for the last few months to help you to get little, little bitsy things to move yourself forward. Every month we have a theme and this is March 1st and we have a new theme this month. This last, last month was stress less, achieve more. This month is motivation and productivity. And it's really, it's really important to be motivated and productive. If you are going to be a successful business person, you, there's just no, there's no other way, really. You need to be motivated and you need to be productive. So let's talk about those things. Let's break those things down. And the first one we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about motivation. And motivation is the, in the middle of things. We have at the top of the, of the pyramid, we have inspiration. And this is where you just are inspired to do the things that you, that, you, that you need to do. And they turn out to be these amazing things and you turn out to have incredible success because you're inspired to do these actions. The next down on the pyramid is motivation where you feel inside that you want to do something and you're motivated to do it. And then finally on the bottom is willpower. And you need to summon that determination and that willpower and use what you use all the strength you've got to get things done. If possible, operate from inspiration. If not, get motivated. And if you're really stuck, use your willpower. So let's talk about the let's talk about motivation and let's give you some some hacks and some tips about how to be motivated in your work life. And it's uh, these are some great these are some great tips and let's get through let's get through them okay here we go so I'm going to share my screen yes there we go number one promise yourself a reward now. One of the things that I've been really getting into recently has been feeling grateful, feeling like giving myself, celebrating small little victories. The small, small little victories are the ones that you want to celebrate. So promise yourself a reward. And it could be, it could be a material reward, but it can also just be a big pat on the back saying, yes, you did it. Awesome. So Promise yourself a reward if you want to be motivated to do something. So it might be helpful to think about something where you want some more motivation. Okay. Now, of course, I am a tapping expert. And one of the things that I teach is I teach how to tap on the meridian points, which is an amazing way to get motivated. But we're not going to talk about that tonight. That's later in the week. So for now, we're going to just talk about strategies and hacks. So let's get going. So we've, we've already started. Promise yourself a reward. If there's something that really appeals to you, think about it. I want you to think, think, think. Don't let this just go out, go out eat one ear and out the other. Think about it and use it. Number two, visualize success. Wow. See yourself sitting down, focused, really, really focused. See yourself being, boom, you got it done. And reward yourself. Like, yes, and I feel so good after that. It's the feeling that you want to really get into. You want to get that feeling going so that you can, you can be motivated to get the work done. Beautiful. List the advantages. So this, this now you want to get your pen out. <laughs> you know, you want to get your pen and paper out and start to list. What are the advantages of getting this done? Wow. What are the advantages? Is this going to make me feel like less stressed? Is this going to let me make me feel successful? Is this going to get me favor with some of the people that I'm my clients or, <clears throat> or people who I'm working with? List the advantages. And then on the other side, list the disadvantages. 
of not getting this done. Like, what's going to happen if you don't get it done? Whoa. Or you can, the other thing you can do is list the, the, advan the disadvantages of getting it done. A lot of times you say, ah, oh, the disadvantages of getting this done are that I'm going to have to be doing a Facebook Live. And I don't know if I want to do a Facebook Live because I might screw it up. So you don't, you, you might want to list those things. The fear of looking bad, the fear of being rejected. There are a lot of different fears that could, could happen and they could be disadvantages that you can then tap on. You can then let go of in some other way. Tapping's my favorite, of course. Remind yourself how successful you've been in the past. Remind yourself of things, and especially if you have been giving yourself kudos for the little, little successes, then you're going to have plenty of instances in the past where you've been successful and you've knocked it out of the park, or you've just done that little thing. You just sat there for five minutes and constructed that letter and then mailed it. Wow. Remind yourself of how successful you've been in the past and the big successes. <laughs> how you stood in front of a thousand people and gave a talk and just blew it away. Well, that's pre-COVID, of course. <laughs> so just get started and the motivation will come. Okay. So this is another, this is another really kind of interesting strategy okay just get started say okay and what i do is i will i will set my alarm i'll get my alarm here and everybody you should have some kind of a clock some i mean you can do it on your phone or whatever but i personally like this because it shows it it, it really shows you how much time you have how much time you've worked it's a really great great mechanism and it makes noise <laughs> yeah i did it i did it so that's you just get started. You set it for five minutes and you just get started. And then the motivation will come out of your taking that little first step. Watch an inspiring video. Now, don't get carried away with this now, okay? It's not time to be spending half an hour watching something that you think is inspiring. This is, this is maybe, you know, five minutes maybe. Watch an inspiring video or, you know, one of the things that I like to do is I like to say affirmations. Affirm, 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 you know, and that really makes a big difference for me, especially, if, you know, there are many videos on YouTube that have affirmations with them and they're very inspiring. You start saying, I am an achiever. I get things done. I love focusing. You start to say those kinds of things and it really makes a difference. By the way, tomorrow we're going to do affirmations. So, you know, if you come by tomorrow, we're going to really start to focus in on how to affirm our success, affirm our motivation, affirm our productivity. Next, listening to an inspiring song and even dancing or singing. You know, you can do that. You can dance and sing. Do, 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 do. So I would say this is a good one. Okay, don't get carried away with it. But by getting your body moving, getting your energy moving, there's something powerful about that to motivate you to get to work. Read inspiring quotes or books. So um, I actually have a quote here. These, these are three quotes here. If you always try to be normal, you'll never know how amazing you can be. Stop trying to be normal, guys. It's time to be amazing. Movement is a medicine for creating change in a person's physical, emotional, and mental state. So get yourself moving, get yourself moving, get yourself moving, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. Get in the habit of taking those small little steps. Great, thanks. Okay. Declutter your work area. Clean it out. Please, we're almost at our 10 minutes, so I'm going to keep moving here. Focus on just a few tasks every day. Don't set yourself 15 tasks to do and get all upset because you only did three. <clears throat> Focus on the most important ones. Take the three that are the most important that are going to make, that are going to move the needle the furthest and work on those. Focus on those. And finally, avoid worrying about the things that don't matter. So those other 12. Well, of course, you can do them if you, if you have the time, but don't worry about them. 
just relax and focus on the things that need to be done so that you are focused and you're 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 not see what happens when you start to worry about these things is you bring your energy down you want to be motivated you want to be psyched you want to be like i'm getting these things done yes and remember to keep complimenting yourself keep celebrating yourself on the little wins and then finally set very short term goals and and i should have written set very short term goals and celebrate when you reach them when you reach them so that's the that's the <clears throat> the tips for the day 13 hacks for you to make a difference with your motivation now motivation is not always there we're not you can't say that you're always motivated you may have eat, ate too much and you're kind of a little sluggish okay you might have not gotten enough sleep and you're a little bit like tired so don't expect and and motivation can come and go so what you want to do is you want to use these tips to bring it back to get it back in the smaller the better the more celebration the better thanks so much for listening this is joe mitchell and activate your greatness you know i wrote a book recently called the art of joyful achieving that's about about reaching big juicy goals without stress and i give away two free chapters on my on my site along with a number of worksheets and different things that will help you to get clear on your goals and get motivated to achieve them so please go to my site and uh, you know please subscribe to my youtube channel as well uh, I do these things uh, regularly on YouTube as well as Facebook. And you can like, like this on Facebook as well. So thank you very much for being here. I appreciate your time and your energy. Keep going for it. Joe Mitchell, over and out.